So today I'm going to talk about older technology that you can use in the SHTF to survive and repair things around you. This is a four-part series and it's by Audell and this used to be a training manual that was used in various, I guess, secondary and primary schools to teach people carpentry. It's by John E. Ball. This is the revised edition by Tom Philbin. This is the volume and publisher information. You'll have to find this on the used market. And what we'll do is take an excerpt from volume two. And what we're going to do is look at valuable information you don't see anymore. Now, this book does an excellent job of describing the difference between cross cut and rip saws and how to use them. Now, when I was growing up, we didn't have a skill saw. And back in those days, skill saws and hand drills were something that were about a week's pay each. And many carpenters had to work for six months to a year before they could afford to buy them. So back when I was a kid, everybody used hand saws and you had to have a rip saw and a cross cut saw. And if you look here, this is a great illustration. It shows you the difference in the teeth in the layout of the blade in a cross cut saw versus a rip saw. And you can see how a rip saw is a chisel tooth blade. And it actually chisels the wood kind of like a small chisel would do if you did it by hand. So the rip saw cuts on a single stroke. Most of them are set up so they only cut on the forward stroke of the saw. And this book goes through a lot of detail on how to use hand saws. And it concentrates a lot on rip sawing, which you don't see anymore. And... A rip saw is something you really need for the SHTF, especially a hand rip saw. And this will get you through building a lot of stuff because a rip saw is designed to cut with the grain of the wood, not against it, like a crosscut saw. 90% of the saws you see today that are hand saws are all crosscut saws. You'll have to go on Amazon or hunt around to actually find a rip saw for you to use. So please share your thoughts. We'll see you on the next video.